Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Angel Awakening or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. My name is Kiana. You are valued and appreciated here in the sacred space for Manjula Awakening, guys. So let's do an energetic check-in for Sag, see what's going on. I will pull for the um for three majors that I see in the um tarot spread. The situation at hand for you, Sagittarius, is the Ace of Cups. That's beautiful energy. That This is saying that a new beginning, a new emotional beginning is the situation. The challenge is the Two of Pentacles. There, there's a need for your flexibility inside of this new beginning. There's a need for you to actually, like, there's a need to make some firm choices and decisions and begin to act on those here with this Two of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. There, so there is a need to um, use your resources wisely, as well as, like I said, make sure that we're in the energy of being flexible. Um, let's see the advice from the universe here. Ooh, the star card. Wow. So hope here is the advice. Remain hopeful in this situation. Remain hopeful in this new beginning. Oh my goodness. Now we do have the truth and the three of swords here. So this is the three of swords and judgment. So what this is telling me for Sagittarius, I must just admit, hun, this is this is an, a situation like there's a new opportunity to have a new beginning with with someone that possibly had you in a third party as we do have the three of cups behind this as well but i do feel like that the truths are coming out as it pertains to this third party and this truth is being like it, it comes with an opportunity to also reconcile if that's what you desire give me just one moment guys all right sagittarius so um if like okay so as i was helping my children i was also you know getting drawn into the energy of you know for one or two Sagittarius is out there this is also asking you to address the the comfortability like look at the hard truth of the multiple third party situations you found yourself in in order to have this new beginning in love which could be a brand new beginning like something brand spanking new if I get the six of cups I would say that this is um, the six of cups that this is someone from like a past lifetime or something but um for this those of you that have struggled with third party energies i don't feel like you're necessarily being called to go back into those situations however i do feel like that there is a situation of a third party with going to be entering into your vicinity to see if you have really done the work of the third party issue um, is what I'm feeling Sagittarius very, very strongly here. Um, but I, it's, it's, it's as if if you, if like this message is being delivered before this comes into play, because if you can truly master this lesson, then there's nothing to be scared of, right? Everything is quite manageable when we are aware. As Yeah, was, yeah see, we have the four of wands, the three of swords. The ten of the ten of wands, the king of cups. Okay, let me get these cards out here, guys, and then we'll talk about it. But I definitely feel like that. Uh, just for a few Sagittarius's out there, this is a call for you to. For to, this is a call for you to look at the third party energy that you have found. Look, the two of pentacles, two of pentacles, seven of cups, two of cups. Nine of Cups. Wow. Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment. I mean, the Justice card. Ooh, in the Tower. My gosh. Um, this is... You don't even see... Like, you're being called... This is the advice position. You're being called to remain hopeful and to stay in this star energy, which is, you know, creative, creative, inspired. Stay open. Stay in this sense of renewal because there, there's like... There's like an unseen, like a sudden change that's coming in and it's karmic balancing of your scales. Like it's the reward of all of the hard work that you have put in to cut away things that really no longer serve you. At the end of the day, you know, I, we'll t we're going to talk about this. It's here. But I feel like that this is the most important position in this spread right here because this is telling me that I do see a Sagittarius that has been 
in the work or that is currently in the process of putting in the work of cutting away the things that just no longer serve you the things that hold you back and i feel like that it's just finally saying like your work is being seen you have to constantly remain in the energetic space of of, of moving with that in mind and yes there are going to be times in your life where it's going to require you to be resourceful with your with your hope and your um, inspiration you know what I'm saying that it, that's abundance as well like that is finances as well you have to manage those resources as well and so I feel like that this is saying and that's in the challenge position it's like when things aren't looking peachy and it's like you're not getting rewarded for your hard work of clearing things out that just don't serve you anymore there's this place of damn am I living in this fantasy land thinking that this is never going to come and it's like stay in alignment with this two of cups here this is telling me that there is a need to stay in alignment because there is this sense of joining forces there is something coming together here now over here for this situation um you know honestly if we're just being honest <clears throat> there could be a connection in your path um this this is happening it doesn't matter what zodiac sign that they are but i do have the king of cups here and that is a libra scorpio energy but this person is in your path for you to see how you allow yourself to settle in in situations where people are emotionally unavailable and then you carry the bulk of the like you get left with the burden because at the end of the day this person was emotionally unavailable and even though like this person might not have flat out said hey you know Sagittarius I am not emotionally available for you this person did give you all the signs and the symbols of it and um you know this is this is saying like you know you allow you only allow yourself like even though you put a lot of your emotion into these situations where people are emotionally unavailable there's still this energy of you know I, I like I'm gonna call it like they have uh, the key word for one of these cards is Stockholm syndrome right and that's where we begin to identify with the very thing that has um, tore us down. Um, I feel like that there's comfortability in Sagittarius with being the victim as well as like I go into a situation where I can escape easily because I can paint. I, it, it plays out where I am the victim. I don't have to be the bad guy inside of that situation. You know what I'm saying? And so that at the end, but but it still leaves you with the bulk of the burden. I pray I didn't lose y'all right there. But let me move forward. So I feel like that there is a a situation that is leaving. I do feel like that you are walking away from this situation, but the opportunity that is coming out of walking, there is a new definition, a new insight to love. Like there is this Ace of Cups. There's this new inspiration. It's like there's this emotional evolution that is taking place for Sagittarius at this time. And I do, I feel like that it begins, it, like, the, like the journey began when we began to consummate ourselves inside of you know marinate ourselves inside of these third party situations instead of seeing it and getting out of the way we found a way to tenderize it to our likings is what i feel here and i feel like that it's a this is it's high time to walk away from that but don't just walk away like it never happened walk away and extract those lessons here sag because there is something like I'm telling you like I know this is heavy here but this right here is beautiful energy if you're willing to face that and make that radical change and cut away that those that which no longer serve you there are beautiful things coming in and um, it's it's calling Sagittarius to reach into that guys if you're still with us at 10 minutes in and resonating with the story we would appreciate you to hit that like button. We have peace here. I'm actually going to use this deck, so I'm going to put it back in. 
But it says just because some people are filled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. Make your life a drama free zone. It's time to walk away from this. You no longer identify with that. What is the uh, hidden wisdom here, Spirit? What is the hidden wisdom for Sagittarius? Guys, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any ninth house, significant ninth house placements, guys. Thank you, Spirit. So it says Treasure Island and Truth Be Told. So the moment that you allow yourself to flow away from this situation, you realize that this this valley, this, this, this stream, it, it leads you straight to Treasure Island and there's a whole new um, opening. Like there's a whole new truth. There's a whole new... Give me just one moment, guys. Y'all, I was so into the uh, message. I didn't even realize that KET was playing in the background. PBS Kids. <laughs> oh, well, that's my life. So, but yeah, I do feel like that there is a new beginning. And it is it, like it's going to require you to make a significant change. It's going to require you to accept. A, a, like there, it's going to require you to accept an ending. You know what I'm saying? This ending may be painful. And, you know, and like I said, I have to, I have to know this message in because there are some Sagittarius's out here that really have struggled with third party situations it just it, it, it isn't just a one and done it just seems like that it, there's a constant encounter with people that are emotionally unavailable for you and so yeah and at the end of the day it's le it leaves you feeling orphaned and left out wow um, but I do feel like that this is, this is ending this cycle of your life. Sagittarius is ending and spirit. And that's in the challenge position. Spirit is asking you to actively make the choices in the decisions and move in a way where you no longer have the fantasy or the desire to be able to, I don't know, win this person over or, uh, magically, work your magic and make this person win this person over that fantasy has to go you know what i'm saying it's time to switch the way that you're making choices into the dis into alignment to what it is that you truly want if i want to be if i want someone to be my protector if i want someone to be my one and only then i am only going to go for people that are available to make me their one and only because that's what you know what i'm saying like that's my desire so i'm going towards that um and i'm creating space for that this is this is all about uh moving in the sense of making space for what it is that you truly want and remaining hopeful that that space is going to be filled you know i just got the wedding the wedding the the engagement ring example you know like some people they don't really like they don't like people to always hit on them or they're um, some extremely beautiful people feel like that everyone is always hitting on them so they begin to go out with an engagement ring to cut down on the fluff talk you know what I'm saying and but with that like while you're protecting yourself from the sleaze balls you're also protecting yourself from that actual one that's actually going to put something of value on that finger right you missed that opportunity as well. So it's about moving in accordance to what it is that you truly desire. And cutting away the any and everything that prevents you from getting that Sagittarius. I'm going to stop nailing that in. I'm going to actually get a self-care message. And we're going to get out of here. I hope that this message is providing you all with some guidance on your journey. If it is, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below. It does help get these and give us a share as well. Help spread these messages out to other people in need. Thank you, Spirit. It says a breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. Absolutely. And look at the card that's on the top of the deck. Shine. Don't dim your light. The world needs your unique talents and gifts. Shine brightly. And I feel like that in this energy that you've allowed yourself or that, you know, Sagittarius has been allowing themselves to, to consummate inside of emotionally unavailable situations has caused you to um, take on these survival tactics that do dim your light and spirit is calling you to shake break free from that so that your unique nature can actually shine 
It says the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life than what you add to it. Give yourself the gift of space. Absolutely. Sagittarius, that's exactly where I'm going to leave it at because this is about making space for what it is that you truly desire and know and believe and move in a sense that you know that space is going to be filled by what you like, what you desire it to be filled by. Alrighty, guys, I pray that these messages um, left, uh, left you feeling fulfilled. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sag.